Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I know it's been a minute. It's been holidays and then freezing cold this week. And then just doing a lot of kind of minor things. So I just wanted to hop on here real quick and let you know I've not stopped shooting videos. There's some exciting things to come that I want to share with you in just a moment. And also to say thank you, 2,000 subscribers. That's awesome. That's 2,000 more. Well, 1,900. And 99 more than I thought I'd have. Pretty sure I had my wife on my side, but I think she unsubscribed last week. Welcome back to Butler Customs Motorcycle Shop. All right, so let me show you some things coming up. We got this beautiful haul again from a new customer and his neighbor is actually a customer and a friend of mine so he's they were talking and he brought his bike up here uh beautiful blacked out bike now here's the deal with this soft tail it has fuel injection and he's a mechanic though i think a car mechanic and it just wouldn't stay running it'll fire up and it might quit It'll run maybe to the end of his mailbox and then quit. So he changed the plugs, he changed the coils, he changed the fuel filter and the tank, and I think even the pump. So he's just kind of scratching his head at this point. So me and you are gonna get this on the lift here soon and try to figure out what's going on. Now we've also got this full custom chopper build we're gonna do with that beautiful red paint up there. And that's gonna be starting here in a couple of weeks. So we're gonna take it from the frame up, build a complete chopper, minimalist wiring, almost outlaw style kind of. So you and I are gonna have a wonderful time with that. That's gonna be a playlist for sure. Then we also have this beautiful police edition roking. And what we're gonna do with that, I've done a lot of work on this already that I just didn't get to film, but we're gonna put heated grips on it um, some covers that go over the tank, the bags here, and uh, also a, I think a front fairing on it with a radio and stuff. I'm not sure. I'll have to look, but we're going to be putting all those on um, here soon. Now here's my son's bike that he is saving up all the money for the tires and the seat and the bars he wants and all the things we're going to do with that. So he's almost done. We're gonna order everything. So here next month, we'll get this back on the lift and we'll get it road ready. We got it running last time. We're gonna redo some, a lot of the wiring and get rid of a lot of things, but we had fun. If you didn't catch that video, it's a good video to watch. It was actually our first bike giveaway. Yes, it was to my son for his 16th birthday. You gotta start somewhere, right? And then this is uh, my dad's bike that is having trouble starting when it's cold. It's the Evo motor. They're always kind of uh, finicky when they're cold. But this one, I told him, you're going to wear your starter out before this thing cranks. What we're going to do is pull the carb off this. I think it's a choke issue. Maybe the choke little nozzle thing's not coming out. But he loves this bike, rides it all, all the time uh, when we go riding together. So we're going to get it ready for him for the spring. Now, a lot of you guys have asked about what tools do you have? Well, I went and bought the best Harbor Freight had to offer. That's right. They're Pitts, Pittsburgh tools. I got it in a, like a kit, like a master mechanic kit. It come with this. I just kind of took the top off. I think this was like the middle shelf. All these Pittsburgh tools, anything that I have, that's like name brand, like Snap-on. They were given to me. Um, I just can't spend that much. And these are all Pittsburgh as well. Uh, and then these just picked up here and there as I went. Um, right in here. That's my organization for my millimeters or metrics and then standards. Oh, what do I got here? Kind of a junk drawer, but I know, I kind of know where everything is. If I need a pen, a marker, I know it's right here. My compression thing's in there. I just, I know it looks like a mess, but I know where everything's at. And in here, uh, I keep my zip ties. I used to keep some other stuff in here. Uh, now these are just things that I've made 
along the way that I needed. Just shaved down and slimmed down. Uh, a lot of this, I don't think there's any specialty tools in there anymore. A lot of the specialty tools that I have, uh, if it's something real simple and unique, uh, I'll just kind of make it. But if it's something I know I'm going to use again, then I'll, um, you know, I'll purchase the kit here. You can see I've, I got these two carts. I just used to have that for years and years. Then uh, my son-in-law gave me these two carts for a sweet deal. And so that's why most of the drawers are kind of bare. Uh, all right, so here's most of my custom stuff. Uh, chain breaker kit, rivet tool, these icons. I believe I got it at Harbor Freight. Uh, Snap-on pliers, and they're really good. This I did get online, I believe, Amazon. And look, I'm a fan of cheap tools. Uh, if they work, they work. There's a little uh, a valve spring compressor so you can get the little pins out. And then this is a pit boss pull bearing kit. This is pretty cool. Um, again, I think I got this off of Amazon. So that's the full kit there. I did break one. I was trying to pull not a wheel bearing out, but I was trying to pull a neck bearing out and it was stubborn and I should have heated it up and I didn't and it actually broke uh, this one. But luckily it's not a common one they use on wheels. But this thing, pulling wheel bearings, has really uh, come in handy. So if you're gonna do a lot of things, repetitive, get some good tools. These have been great. Again, that's I'm not affiliated with anybody. That's the Pit Boss. Yeah, Pit Boss. So, let's see. I've got some other custom things down here. Well, not really custom. Five-speed uh, main drive gear kit. This is probably the most expensive kind of specialty tool that I bought and this is is great works great so if you're pulling a lot of uh, five-speed main drive gears uh, you're going to need because I mean we're talking about transmission you sure don't want to booger up anything in your transmission so I got the right tools for that I believe I got these at TSC I believe and they're just big Allen's um, Allen set um, uh, that's a steering head race puller works really well it was really cheap I just had to buy it um, online I think it was $19 maybe motion pro so that's worked good and then this here I keep in an old box and it is the uh, twin cam cam bearing puller and installer. And I even have the instructions there how to set it all up if you need it. But I've used this time and time and time again. It's worked flawlessly. And of course you keep everything oiled up when you use it. Your threads will last a long time if it's good quality. And if it's cheap and it messes up on you, then that's gonna set you back a couple weeks getting something else in. So some things all all kind of splurge on and then some of the minor stuff that I know I can run out to the parts store and get I don't um, here's all my little Allen sockets and stars and uh, things like that I really really don't use a lot up here uh, flatheads screws uh, my guns here these were I did some barter for some work on a Harley and he was a car mechanic and swapped me out with some nice guns and then these my calipers and heat gun well heat temp sense uh, my scope and camera a couple of little other tools and then this is my half inch 
I can't find my 27. If you've got it, please bring it back. And then over here, I keep stuff that I've kind of had to make for a reason. When I do my vowels, I used to use this and a C clamp. And it worked okay until I got, you know, I just got tired of using those. Thought I'm gonna upgrade. And I did. And uh, that's a piston ring uh, compressor kit. This, I don't know, what is this? I don't use this so much, what is it? Oh, it's long handled uh, Allen's. So those I haven't had to use. If I work on a lot of uh, sports bikes, those come in handy. Uh, Evo clutch spring compression tool. You've seen me use that in one of my recent videos and that's been a big help. Most of the cheaper stuff you buy off like uh, Amazon or eBay, you're gonna find they don't really come in a good box to put them back in. They don't come in anything like that. So I just put them, threw them in the box. And these are some of my other pullers and you know what that is, right? That big old nut on the uh, primary side. So just little little things that I'm kind of made and, and use. Uh, that's my half inch impact and my uh, bore, what do you call it? Bore, uh, I don't know, bore cleaner upper. When I first started, that was my lift, and uh, I keep it around. Not to use it, I don't ever use it. Well, the boys use it for their dirt bikes and stuff like that. I don't ever use it. I just keep it to remember where I started from. I had that lift, and I had some Walmart tools, and that's where I started. Uh, other things, these pipes, they're exhaust pipes with duct tape or electrical tape wrapped around the edges. And if you get the right size, they will work for your fork seals. So you don't have to have any special tools for your fork seals. I keep some other stuff, just won't fit in the box. Hardly ever use stuff like this over here. Um, Sawzall, uh, stuff like that. So that, I mean, that's pretty much it. 90% uh, of uh, my stuff was in here and all packed in here and I had stuff falling out. So I'm glad to have those two. But as you can see, you don't, guys, you don't need a lot of stuff to start, you know, just wrenching and working on your own stuff. And just kind of buy stuff as you need. And All right, so that's gonna do it for this little quick video. Again, I just wanna show you some things coming up, some things we're about to do, and answer the common question I often get is, hey, what kind of setup you got on the tools? Nothing fancy at all. Uh, what I'd like to do, since I haven't been on here in a while, I've got three patches I'm gonna give away, the Butler Customs patches, to the first three, subs uh, not subscribers, the first three that comment on this video. I'm gonna reach out to you in the comments, send you my email address, and then you can send me your address, and I'm gonna send you a free Butler Customs patch. You can put on your vest, you can put on a jacket, riding jacket, whatever you like, or you can just throw it in the trash. But I just want to do that for you guys, just to let you know I'm not going away. Uh, just been busy with little stuff, and you know, who needs to see a tire change or five or ten? Thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me in this cold, cold shop today. And tell your mama now, I said hi.